Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is our last cool steam vent tamer we swear. We showed you the smallest, now let's show you the best. Presenting the event. We got rid of the pump and now the turbines move the water so we can use less power. This might even be power neutral. Tuxie Industries does not guarantee power neutrality. Tame that cool steam vent efficiently with a Tuxie Industries event today. We trade space efficiency for power efficiency here, so if you still want the smallest tamer, please check out our s vent. This is the smallest non-exploit footprint uh, that we have produced. If you want the exploit version, we do have the row vent, but that's not a complete product video. Let's get into the event. The whole key to this is kind of critical here is this one has a granite tile here. This is, this is critical to make the uh, pump here. And we have a tank. This is just full of water. And through this valve, we pump 0 0.1 grams per second of water. It just goes through here, drops on this. And the joy of this is this creates a gas pump, a powerless gas pump that pumps the gas from inside the steam vent chamber up into here and then the uh, then this room can overpressure. You can see it's at 40 kilos now. This would overpressure this steam vent so it wouldn't be able to produce. This steam vent is able to produce 100% of its capacity because we're constantly vacuuming out the room. It, it gets vacuumed down to 200 milligrams or whatever whenever, and then when it erupts, it just gets sucked into this room and these can take their time. This is set to 150. If you use an amalgam aqua tuner, set this to 135. Um, and we have a pool of crude oil here, about 800 kilos per tile. If you've got nuclear waste, this is the spot for nuclear waste. This is the best use for nuclear waste. So we can have thermal capacity because we need the 110 degree steam that comes out of a cool steam vent presents a problem because it has to be at least 125 degrees as soon as it for the steam turbine to get it. So that's why these temp shift plates are here so that, and we keep this at 150 degrees so that as soon as that 110 degree steam gets spawned here, it gets sucked into the room, instantly becomes more than 125 degrees and can get sucked into the room. We're not waiting for this to react. The heat is already there to do the job. But this part is the critical part to get the full output of this. Um, this is set to 150. This is actually just for aesthetic purposes. If you have, if you don't have this here, then you end up with this thing kind of stutters and it's kind of just annoying. So I put this here just to make this behave. And this is set to above 100 grams. So the steam turbines will just sit here idle and not, not be doing anything annoying. Um, the tepidizer, this is set to 20 degrees, so we keep everything here 20 degrees, but this isn't, this is part of, just for demonstration purposes, if you, here is the cooling, and I got super coolant in here just for efficiency, but literally any liquid would work for this, because we don't care about the cooling. As long as it can keep the steam turbines cool, then it's doing its job. We can have any liquid in there we want, and then you can route this piping down to your water tank or use this cooling somewhere. Odds are you need cooling, so you can use this cooling rather than just wasting it with a tepidizer, even though this tepidizer doesn't run that much. But you can use that cooling to cool down some hot water tank or some output from any geyser or anything like that. Again, this is set to 0 0.1 grams per second. Make sure you set this before you seal it in because it requires a dupe to come and crank the valve a little bit. And you don't want to be pumping in 10 kilos when you start this up. It'll just eat your water. Now, let's say you accidentally mined out this tile here and you have an exposed vent. Up here, this is the wider version. We just made it one tile wider. We shifted everything from from here over to the left one, one tile basically. Um, if you already built it and you accidentally farmed it out, you could get by with just moving the steam turbines and leave the, the aqua tuner a little bit off center to make it work. 
but this is the version if you have an exposed vent this is the if you're looking for the exposed vent blueprint um it's labeled literally event exposed vent and this one is just the event these are the nuclear cool steam vents that I use to test the S vent with. This is the nine kilo per second one. This one averages 1.58 kilos per second uh, all, all the time. So it's not really that beefy and this thing eats it for breakfast, no problem. Um, this one down here is actually beefier. It only comes out at 6.4, but this one averages 2.22 kilos per second lifetime and this can still eat it. So I believe, Tuxie makes no Tuxie Industries makes no guarantees. I believe, we believe, that this will handle 99% of cool steam vent tamers. Some, or cool steam vents. Some cool steam vents could be weak enough that you might be able to get by with one. But if you ever see the steam pressure in here go to 1,000 kilos or it keeps going up, that's when this breaks. The liquid vent will not be able to pump out any liquid at the... Um, also, there's a bead of liquid here. This, this is critical to make this work. Otherwise, this pump action just doesn't work. It's just one room. Um, but this vent overpressures at 1,000 kilos of steam pressure, which breaks the system. So if you see this running away on you, just add a third, add another steam turbine to to eat the volume, and that's it's that easy. Yeah, if you're looking for the most power power efficient uh, cool steam vent tamer, this is it. I hope you enjoy. Thanks again for your patronage to Tuxie Industries, and please be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our products. Here are the schematics. The save is linked below. We hope you get many faithful cycles from your event. Complaints and refund requests can be sent to 50,000 Shattered Planet Way. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're informed, entertained, or both. Catch you next time!